Hey, you found it. Now, what we're going to look into today is, is the Molly Duker shake a real thing or not? Well, that's what we're going to find out. Hey guys, welcome back. So, like I said previously, is, is the Molly Duker shake a real thing or not? What is the Molly Duker shake and why do we do it? So, what we're going to be testing out today is, actually, here's a very nice wine. It's a 2012 Molly Duker. It's a Shiraz. So, what is the Molly Duker shake? So we'll give you a little background on the Molly Duker shake. So now Molly Duker, what that what that is is that is what they call left-handed people in Australia. Um, so Mo Molly Duker, one of their kind of flagship wines that they have is actually called the Bagger, obviously. So it's kind of a clever name. So anyway, if you've ever heard of the Molly Duker shake, you might know a little bit about this, and maybe you don't. Anyway, so what it is is. With the Molly Duker wines, all except for one, they have a sparkling Shiraz, which you wouldn't want to do this for because you'd probably have yourself a mess. I'm going to demonstrate it for you here today. So now what, what I'm going to do is open the bottle, pour a little bit out uh, in, into this glass right here. Then after that, we're actually going to turn the bottle upside down, give it the Molly Duker shake, pour, bring it back, pour a little bit more out, and then do the same thing. So we're actually going to do that two times. So let's get going. And the nice part about this is screw top. So one other really cool thing about the Molly Duker is, uh, well, with this Carnival of Love 2012, like I said before, um, screw top makes it super easy. So what we're gonna do is just pour a little bit out and then put the cap back on, screw top, and you gotta shake it with your left hand, right? So you give it the Molly Duker shake. Give it a couple shakes, bring it back, take the cap back off, give it a little bit more. Now, what we're going to do, upside down, left handed shake. So, I don't know if you necessarily need to do it with your left hand, but why not, right? So now what you're, what you're going to see here is if you, if you look, um, you can see right on the top, I'll try to get a little bit closer, you can actually see the foam. You see that foam? What that, what's happening with this wine right now is Molly Duker, what they use is they use nitrogen and actually that's what they're bottling with their wine is nitrogen. Now there's a couple different reasons why they say they use nitrogen. Like I said, is the Molly Duker shake a real thing or not? Well, I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Anyway, they use nitrogen in their wine. Now nitrogen is it's very similar to what they use with Guinness too. It's, it's a, another form of, of the bottling process, which they say cuts down on the sulfates that you have to use it in. Now, why would you want to cut down on sulfates? Well, when you import wine into the United States, you need to have a certain amount of sulfates for them to bring the wine in. So that's why they're using sulfates. Why do they want to use less sulfates? Sulfates is what gives you a headache or a hangover. So Molly Dukert is using, they're, they're using this method to cut down on that process. So you can enjoy not only the wine a little bit more, but maybe even the next day. So that's what they're doing with that. So that is the Molly Dukert shake. Um, what, what the nitrogen does is it actually, once you shake it, it kind of pushes it together and sort of tightens up the, the, the edges, if you will, of the air and just makes everything a little bit tighter. What that is going to do is that's going to force all the tannins and the wine to open up more so. The Molly Duker shake was some type of a marketing scheme after um, the bottling process. And what I mean by that is there with this typical wine or actually this line of wines, they have several very good wines. But they do have, they're heavy in sediment, a lot of them. I don't know if it's jealousy or envy or what it might be, but they, they say that the Molly Duker shake was actually made up or brought to life uh, after they found out what the sediment. Well, I'm pretty sure they could have probably changed this process by now. Like I said, this is a 2012 great wine, scored high on all kinds of different wine lists. Spectators were raving about it. I think that if it was a mistake that they could have changed it, well, it was bottled in 2012. So. Um, like I said, what we're, what I did here is I poured it out. We're, we can let that breathe for as long as we want. Um, and actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit more in here just so I can let this breathe. And then we'll have a little taste off later on. And then I'm going to actually one up this one. We're going to let that breathe there. And then actually I'm going to bring out a decanter and I'm going to decant the rest of this wine and I'm going to let them both sit out for, I'm going to give them an hour or two, maybe longer. We'll see how we feel. We're going to let the decanter do the work. We're going to let the wine glass normally do the work. 
we're gonna come back, we're gonna try them, and we're gonna see which one we like better, and maybe even determine if the Molly Duker shake was needed or not. Uh, it's a little late now, and now that it's not in the bottle, obviously we can't shake the wine anymore. We can, we can swirl the glass, and we can also do the sandwich decanter. But now we've done the shake, we've enjoyed the wine, we'll give it a little taste. Can't go, can't go wrong with that. Mm, it's good stuff. But I'm gonna keep my hands off it. We're gonna give it a little time to breathe, and then I'm gonna come back with another wine glass and the decanter, and see which one I like better. I have a pretty good idea which one it might be, but it's worth a try, right? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, this is Anthony Hendrickson. You see here, there's more content coming out, feel free to subscribe to this page. If you want to be notified when, when these videos go live, feel free to hit the, the bell notification button. You'll be up to date on everything that I'm doing. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll try these a little bit later and, and uh, do a little recap. So once again, it's Anthony Henderson coming to you guys here today. Thank you for, so much for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.